Archaeologists have unearthed the ancient burial of a woman lying on a bronze bed near the city of Kozani in northern Greece. It dates to the 1st century B.C. Depictions of mermaids decorate the posts of the bed. The bed also displays an image of a bird holding a snake in its mouth, a symbol of the ancient Greek god Apollo. The woman's head was covered with gold laurel leaves that likely were part of a wreath, Arady Kondrojani Matoki, director of the Ephorate of Antiquities of Kozani, told Live Science in an email. The wooden portions of the bed have decomposed. Gold threads, possibly from embroidery, were found on the woman's hands, Kondrojani Matoki said. Additionally, four clay pots and a glass vessel were buried alongside the remains. No other people were buried with her. Archaeologists are now analyzing the skeleton to determine the woman's health, age when she died and possible cause of death. The artifacts found with her suggest that she likely came from a wealthy background and may have belonged to a royal family. We do not know much about the history of this area, during the 1st century BC, Kondrojani Matoki told Life Science. Thousands of years ago, Kozani was near an important city called Mavropagai, the site is now a village, that housed a sanctuary dedicated to Apollo, Kondrojani Matoki said. Historical records show that during the 1st century BC Roman control and influence in Greece was on the rise. The Romans destroyed the city of Corinth in 146 BC and sacked Athens in 86 BC. In 48 BC, a crucial battle in northern Greece known as the Battle of Pharsalus saw the army of Julius Caesar defeat a force led by Pompey, the victory resulted in Caesar becoming the de facto ruler of Rome. It's unclear when exactly in the 1st century B.C. This woman lived or if she would have witnessed or heard of any of those historic events. The woman's remains are currently housed at the Archaeological Museum of Iani in Greece. Live Science contacted scholars not affiliated with the research for further insights on the discovery, but none were available to offer comment at the time of publication. Image credit, image courtesy of Arady Kondrojani Matoki.